Just a day after the shocking announcement that President Trump is pulling all U.S. troops out of Syria, CNN learned the president is also wants to see plans to withdraw about half of the almost 14,000 U.S. troops serving right now in Afghanistan. A premature withdrawal of troops there is one of Senator Lindsey Graham's biggest fears. This week, I traveled to Afghanistan with Senator Graham, and he had a very clear goal, thank the troops, of course, and also make the case to President Trump that after 17 years, a secure Afghanistan ensures a more secure United States. And Graham isn't pulling any punches, colorful language and all. Senator Lindsey Graham is on a mission, a mission to connect with the troops, but also a mission to convince a president that after 17 years, Afghanistan is still a fight worth fighting. You've been here so many times. Why come back this time? What is, what's this visit about? Well, I always come back as much as I can. One, if you're sending people over here to fight for your country, you at least owe it to, to them to kind of check in on them. We had exclusive access to follow Graham on a whirlwind tour. He's been to the region more than 40 times, but this marks his first trip back to Afghanistan without his closest friend and confidant. This is the first trip without John McCain. This is a tough one. Uh, just think there a minute ago how many times I've been here, but just almost all the time with John. Yeah. And uh, the president's going to make some decisions about Afghanistan soon. I hope he makes good ones. From Kabul to Kandahar, his message to the troops, we've got your back. Outstanding. How long have you been here? Uh, about two and a half years. But Graham doesn't seem so sure President Trump feels the same way. For one, the commander in chief has yet to visit any combat zone, including where the fight against Al Qaeda after 9 11 began. I would hope the president would come over here. Uh, I know he loves the military. I would advise him to come over here and say thank you. Sit down with uh, President Ghani and the Afghan partners and tell them what you would like them to do better. Understand Afghanistan, being in Afghanistan, is a completely different experience than talking about it in Washington. And by being in Afghanistan this time, the senator says he received critical status updates from the top Afghan commando. A good outcome in Afghanistan is important to the United States. And also the top American commander of U.S. and NATO forces there, both saying ISIS is on the rise. The ISIS threat in Afghanistan is far greater than I thought it was. If you get a peace agreement tomorrow between the Taliban and the uh, uh, Afghan government, that will not solve the threat to our homeland. Yet President Trump has made no secret. He has little interest in committing U.S. troops to conflicts overseas. Look no further than his announcement to pull all U.S. troops out of Syria. Now we've won. It's time to come back. Even before that announcement, this was Graham's greatest fear about Afghanistan. The bad news, if we leave this place to go to shit in a year. Seriously? If we pull out, if we go to zero, this place will fall apart very, very quickly and uh, we'll regret that decision at home. The people that we're holding at bay over here want to hit us again at home. So I hope people understand that these soldiers that you see around here and you've talked to, they're a virtual wall against radical Islam coming to America. What do you say to a uh, president who ran on, we're not the policemen of the world? I know what you're being told, President Trump, about what will happen in Afghanistan. And here's the difference. This is the center of gravity. This is the place where it all started. If we're driven out of Afghanistan, if America is beaten after having spent all these years and this much blood and treasure, every jihadist throughout the world will be on steroids. What would happen if President Trump decides to pull everybody out tomorrow? You need to ask the question, that question to our military leadership. I've asked that question, and they've given me a very blunt answer. This place would fall apart. We could, if we make the same decision we did in Iraq, leave too soon, set in motion chaos that would make Iraq look like a walk in the park. And I think one of the most likely outcomes would be a second 9-11 coming our way. All of this, remember the timing. Lindsey Graham told me all of this before President Trump announced he was withdrawing all U.S. troops from Syria and said that he is doing, doing so because ISIS was defeated. And before CNN reported, the military is being told to draw plans to cut U.S. troops in Afghanistan by half. 
One of the experts, if you will, that Graham is relying on is the top U.S. commander in Afghanistan of U.S. and NATO forces, General Scott Miller. He'll, we'll have my exclusive interview with him and the U.S. ambassador to Afghanistan, John Bass, for you next week. Their assessment and their outlook on where things stand, even more important today.